Inakuwaje watu wangu nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA update wako wa stories zote ambazo ziko kwenye trending na nyingi ambazo huwa nakuletea kila siku leo tupo maeneo ya Kibera Logos na hii ni kwa ajili ya shughuli moja shughuli yenyewe inakuwa ni kesi yake Rington na Robert Alai hapo awali tuliweza kuona Rington amekuja hapa na ambulance accusing kwamba Robert Alai aliwahi kumpiga unaona wana wa Kenya online media wapo atupo tayari kwa ajili ya kuzungumza na Robert Alai tujue atakuwa na ya kusema kwa sababu leo pia jioni tutakuwa tunamuona Rington anakuja eh, kutoka South Africa ambapo alisema kwamba ameenda kwa ajili ya shughuli ya kupata matibabu. Kwa hivyo keti tu hapo nitakuwa na zungumza na Robert Alai pamoja na wanawangu wa Kenya Online Media kwa ajili ya kukuletea updates zote pindi zinapochipuka. Tumepotea tote. Tunaletea. Hii ndio main camera za mwana. Haya, mkiwa ready. Allowing us to have this. Wait. Ko ready. Nashukuru, it's not for granted. No, no problem. No problem. Yeah. So, mimi na tu mwenye hapa naswali tu hapa. I'm I'm part of you guys. So, itabidi muulize tu alafu tutajibu. Hizi vitu zisiwe na corona bwana. Ah. Sanitize. Okay, Mr. Alec, uh, we would like you to confirm uh, kwanza umekuja kwa sababu ya kesi ya Rington afu hili uh, uh, inaendeleaje mpaka sasa hivi? Umekuja kwa sababu ya kesi nyingine ya traffic, uh, Rington was just a part of it. Mpaka uh-huh. sasa hivi tunangoja kitu inaitwa plea which is the first stage in the, in the court process. Uh-huh. So ndimeletwa kwa kotini kutoka kwa polisi. So kitoka plea even did end up mentioned and And, and then hearing so I, i i cannot talk much about the case because it uh, affect mambo nyingi sana hapa kotini but what i can just say is that I've, uh, as a law abiding citizen nimekuja hapa ku play my part to ensure kwamba niko nimekuja kotini as required niko out on police bond and uh, being in court means that you obey the law um, Yeah so I, I think that's the all I can say the other, the other things which can be added in the case is I have my lawyer here Edwin Mwenda who is going to give you guys an update on, on, on the case if, if there's anything else to add Okay well, so tutaongelesha lawyer mm-hmm. uh, utatuambia uh, uh, process ya kesi sasa hizi kwaje tangu bila yao haya maneno yalifanyika Eh mpaka sasa Atujui mashtaka yenye wanaleta uh, against Robert. Yes. Uh, tumekuja hapa mara hii ni mara ya tatu. Mm-hmm. Tangu ile siku aliitwa polisi akawekwa ndani, akawekwa akapewa police bond. Mm-hmm. Hii ni mara ya tatu. Kila mara tukikuja mm-hmm. eh, hawako ready. Yeah. Mashtaka hazikuwa tayari. Yeah. So kwa sasa hatujui mashtaka ni yapi. Mm-hmm. Eh, ndio tuweze kujua vile tutasonga mbele okay. so as we speak today i can't tell you mm-hmm. the charges that he's going to face mm-hmm. we have to appear before court mm-hmm. uh, have the charges read out yeah. uh, get a copy of the charge sheet mm-hmm. and then that way we will know what the charges are and then be able to plan how to defend him yeah mm-hmm. initially we had seen the uh, the case um, i mean the case start at milimani yes. later on it was ikapelekwa ikaletwa hapa kibera kisha tuka tukaambua kwamba imeletwa imepelekwa tena milimani sasa leo tumeona kwamba imeletwa tena kibera ni kwa nini imekuwa na huo uko kuzungushwa eh hii kesi iliripotiwa kilimani police station yeah. so it's really up to the prosecution uh, or the state mm-hmm who are prosecuting the matter to decide where they are going to arrange him ordinarily mm-hmm. uh, matters from Kilimani police station come to Kibera mm-hmm. so whether they take it to Milimani or Kibera really doesn't matter mm-hmm. they are both courts yeah. they are both competent uh-huh. uh, we will appear where they decide yeah. so today we are at Kibera if they prefer charges against him in Kibera mm-hmm. we proceed from yeah. here yeah mm-hmm. kuna kuna muda niko nimeongea pia na the the lawyer that same day afterwards akane, i had him on a phone call saying that ameambua kwamba file imepotea mm-hmm. maneno hayo yana ukweli upi i'm not sure which lawyer was that 
Rinton's okay. lawyer. Mm. Yeah. He said that the file was missing. Yeah. We are not aware. And if, if that information was true, then the best person to confirm or deny uh -huh. should be the DPP yeah. or the police. Uh -huh. Because they are the ones who have the case file. Uh -huh. They are the ones who compile the documents. Uh -huh. As we speak, we do not have any documents. Uh -huh. We are only supplied with documents once the charges have been preferred. Uh -huh. That's the point where we receive the documents they intend to use. Yeah. So I do not know the status of the file. Uh -huh. We are just here to attend court. Uh -huh because today was the date that was set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also uh, saw Rington come here uh, on an ambulance. Alipigwa sana ikakuwa hawezi hawezi akatembea. That you'd have to ask him. Uh -huh. uh, as far as we know, uh -huh. uh, he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, at you go South Africa. Uh, you go South Africa like in the lab you uh -huh. may have to ask him what uh -huh. he's doing in South Africa. Uh -huh. I haven't seen any medical report saying that he requires treatment outside uh -huh. the country. Uh -huh. Again as I said I have to hear the charges they are preferring against Robert uh -huh. and see the documents. Yeah. Mm. At this stage it would really be speculation to uh -huh. try and say the, what kind of injuries he's alleging uh -huh. or what charges they are facing. So, so uh, lab -da, lab -da, manake tulikuwa tumeambiwa mm. kesi ilikuwa inaanza saa 2 au saa 3 asubuhi mm. na saa hizi ni saa saa 8. Uh, saa sita. Sa sa sita. What, what uh, are we still having this case? As far as we know, yes. We are told the court is uh, that is supposed to hear us as another matter proceeding. They have a hearing going on. So as soon as uh, the magistrate is done, then he's going to come to the tent here and do the pleas. So we are really at the mercy of the court. We were told at eight, but uh, we just move with the court. Mm -hmm. It's ah. the court schedule that guides us. Uh -huh. mm. And about the, the, the damage of the car in uh, Rington at Kometombia, it's uh, about uh, half a million. Mm. Uh, have you assessed you as a lawyer the, the car and uh, seen what was the damage? No, I haven't for the simple reason that uh, that that's his allegation. Mm -hmm. uh, if you allege something, then it's your duty to prove it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do not have a duty to value the car. We haven't even seen the car. Mm -hmm. We would have to see what 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 the claim is based on. Because if you say it's it's the damage is worth this much, mm -hmm. it has to be backed by evidence which we haven't seen. And like I said, it's after the charges that we get to be supplied with those documents. Yeah. So maybe at that point I can comment. Now, no. But but then uh, I, I really don't know how the 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 law operates. But uh, Mr. Lai said he's out on bond. Yes. Uh, so what were, what were the charges? Because you have to get the charges for you to be out on bond now. Uh, normally, yeah. Uh, there are there there are two scenarios. Yeah. When police arrest you. Yeah. There are charges where the law al uh, allows them, or there are certain kind of uh, offenses, mm -hmm. the law allows them to release someone on police bond as they continue with the investigations. Okay. So what was being investigated was the altercation and the report that was made by Rington. Mm -hmm. So he was released even as they continue with the investigations on, uh, on the report made by Rington. Uh, I can't tell you the charges because the police do not disclose the charges. Even oh, okay. if they do, you cannot confirm they are the same charges they are going to prefer in court when the matter comes up. Because when uh, the matter was reported, uh, they commenced investigations, they let him free, he has been cooperating so far. So until we see that charge sheet that is being brought to court today, yeah. I cannot really say which, what are the charges. Yeah. Yes. I'm going yeah. to use Rington's word, not, yes. not mine. Yes. Uh, there's a statement he said, uh, whatever I, I, he alleged a, li a life of Dan Alisema, he or him to a kawaida in Kama Mutakona, Shida Yaki. He's here, we, we, we've seen him. Who's him to a kawaida? He said, Yani ni Kama, Nakona Shida Yaki. You, yeah, because probably <laughs> so the way you reacted and everything. Oh, he said you know, he looks like a madman. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, 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 he's right of opinion. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, uh, be so, before, so, mm. before we, we go further, mm. uh, let me maybe ask a personal question. Yes. Uh, have you ever met Rington before? No. No. I just see him in the media like that. We never met physically. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe, Alai, just a, qu a, a question, a yes or no question. Did you hit Rington? No. You didn't hit Rington? No. So what really happened? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys, I'm seeing a lot of uh, movies, yeah. karate, and so uh -huh. let's pray. 
And um, uh, Rington said that uh, you are using uh, the influence you have to jeopardize the case, yani to interfere with the proceedings of the case. What can you say about that? Is you know, true? you know, this is this is not the case I've had. So you know, and 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 this is not the the first or the last case I've had, even this year. If I was to use my influence, I would have used it elsewhere. I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think those are real allegations. Like I say, still his opinion. He has a right to them. You can say uh, the best place to to prosecute some of these things is in the court, not in the public. If we do it in the public, then we are even disrespecting the judges. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now, could you go on a room flying, how could you me? room. Asante sana, asante sana. Okay. tumekuwa na Robert Lai. Kuhusu hiyo kesi yake na Rington umesikia maneno yake akasema kwamba kwanza haku, alikuwa hajawahi kuwahi kupatana, hajawahi kupatana na Rington hapo awali na pia ameweza kutujuza eh, kwamba yeye hakumgusa Rington, hakumpiga. Amesema I did not hit Rington na kiukweli ni kwamba kesi yenyewe bado ipo mahakamani na mimi ndo updater wako wa kila siku in case kitu chochote kitokee kuhusu hii kesi nitakuwa nakuletea. Mimi naitwa presenter Ali, you are entertainment PA. I'll see you in the next video.